This is Dabu7. We have Avi Loeb now raising a very interesting question and backing it with some data as he has the entire time. People want to flip out and say, oh, this object, it's just a comet. Well, it doesn't have all the signatures of a normal comet. So you can call it a comet if you want to be one of the people just to speculate and guess, then that's all you're doing. But with the data that they're getting and analyzing, they're able to tell many different things. For instance, you can look at an object in space and just tell by its color what it's burning off, what kind of metals and everything that it has and properties of it. But some people are so small-minded, they think that space is fake and it, it's a big screen wrapped around this place, although rocks are coming through it somehow and keep hitting us and they can't explain that or where the projector is or how any of it works. But this object is making its way in toward us. It's the biggest interstellar object we've ever seen. It's dropping down, like dropping from the sky straight down and then flattening out on our plane. That's a 0 .005 chance of a natural object ever doing that and having a reason to flatten out on our plane. Something would have had to have controlled it to make it do it because it's not affected by the gravitational force of our sun. Okay, is it a, it's a visitor, like Oumuamua, passing through our neck of the woods. And now, Avi Loeb, with all the controversy surrounding this, whether it's a comet or something more, he's saying, by looking at the data, that this famous wow signal that was discovered back in the 70s, which was said to be extraterrestrial in nature, it was discovered August 15th of 1977. Uh, it was a strong, narrow-band radio signal that was picked up by Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. And it was originally inferred to be extraterrestrial. The latest natural explanation hypothesized for the WOW signal could be connected straight to this object coming toward us. This is why. They say that the wow signal originated from the sky coordinates of right ascension, or RA, 19 hours, 25 minutes, equals 291 degrees, and a declination of negative 27 degrees. Okay? They say on August 12th, 1977, per all the stuff that they have now and tracking this thing back, Atlas, at its speed and distance, they say that they put this at 600 times the Earth-Sun separation. That is AU. They say that this thing was right in the neck of the woods from where the signal came from. The characteristics and the odds of all these things, plus soft disclosure, we all know there's a big show, a big a big illusionary show that they're going to be pulling off, whether it's Blue Beam or whatever lies they're going to kick out, it's coming at some point. And how it's going to be, how it's going to be played, we don't know. But all the signs are there of technology being rolled out in front of us. Look at the drones, the drones that were over Jersey in America. They could outrun all of our aircraft. We couldn't pick them up. You couldn't jam them. It was all new technology that we didn't even know who was running them until Trump got in there and said, oh, they're ours. Yeah, they had FAA lights on them. We knew that they were ours. But they won't say nothing else about them just like they won't about the gold in Fort Knox and all the other lies that were constantly fed, right? Well, this thing is up there and it's heading this way. And it's massive. And to me, it's very interesting for people that want to say, oh, it's nothing. Well, then go about your business. People that have any intelligence are going to want to see what this thing is. And you may see it regardless. It may brighten. They don't know what it's going to do. When it comes off the other side of the sun, even though it's not supposed to be affected by the sun, it seems to have come right in around the sun like it is affected by the sun. And seeming that it's not affected by the sun, why did it even come in around the sun like that? It's almost like it's posing as it's a comet or something. I, for one believe there's all kinds of life out there all throughout the cosmos there's wormholes you can hit different places different dimensions all that good stuff different life out there and you don't have to look any further than right here on this rock for other life okay for people that don't 
read their Bibles or anything like that because of whatever reason. What knowledge is there? Your basic instructions before leaving Earth. They told you right there that there was other life here. The fallen. They came into our women, snatched them up, had these horrible creatures called the Nephilim, made this place so bad they had to flood it out and reset it. Yeah, did you forget about all that? Because they're already here. And they were here after the floodwaters receded. Jubilees, the book of giants, the book of Enoch, all this that they stripped from your Bible covers it. It connects all the dots. They're here. It's who your government has always been worshiping. Who do you think they sold us out to? Huh? Them. They are here, out of sight, out of mind. So this doesn't ever have to be about green men or the boogie man coming from, from space to destroy us. The bad guys are here here they are locked here it is written duh okay so could it be by chance that if someone is coming down the hall down our solar system hall that it could be a good guy hmm hmm seeming that all this evil is locked in here hmm i don't take it off the table why could it not be it could be anything. And now that the signal is set to be coming right from this region, I think somebody's hinting at something again here. And Avi has come out and he's said from the beginning all these crazy characteristics. But again, they're not just conspiracy. It's all data. When he come out and he said, look, this thing could be manufactured. Why? Because when you look at all the nickel, the nickel's put out in a way that you see on Earth it's manufactured, not naturally. Naturally, on comets, nickel has an equal composition of iron kicked out with it. That's missing with this. Not to mention it has this strange, huge layer of CO2 around it like it's emitting it. And it's lacking all the water that you see in a normal comet. All the ice that you would see to off-gas it. Not to mention its tail was pointing the wrong freaking way. A muamua that came through here had no tail. They waited till it passed through to tell you that it was... All the details of it, long, cylindrical in nature, metallic in nature, had no tail. It picked up speed when it left off out of here. So, like, you can keep sleeping on all this stuff and saying, oh, it's just fake. You'd be kind of foolish. You're missing all the signs here that they're at least setting the stage for a big show. So, those that have a small mind will continue to have one. Those that have intelligence will see that something is afoot here. And all of the signs are there that something is about to happen. And again, the bad guys are here. They're locked here. Don't ever forget that. Forget little green men and all that stuff. They're here. And Tucker Carlson even came out on national television for all the millions out there to follow him that he can reach. And he told them, they're here. Go look it up, man, if you've been living under a rock. He said, they're here. They're under the earth and they're in our oceans. He said it flat out. Disclosure's been happening softly with breadcrumbs. And it's all been laid out there. How about the clip they just dropped here recently of them striking the orb with a Hellfire missile, it breaking into three, four pieces, and all the pieces stay flying with it? You've never seen nothing like this in history. They're coming out the woodwork with stuff as this thing gets closer. Now, here this week, it will be on a close approach to Mars, which is going to be fascinating. It's going to be so close that whatever cameras they've got up in the vicinity, they're going to turn on this thing, and we should finally be able to see this thing up close and personal for what it is. And uh, then it's going to hide behind the sun and be hidden behind the sun for a minute until it emerges off the other side. It's going to have a real clear view of Venus. And then it's going to make its way out and it's going to it's going to pass right past all the moons of Jupiter. The odds and the timing of this thing are critical. So, you know, of course, there's tons of lies out there and tons of psyops. But from what I take from it, the psyops throughout all these years have damaged a whole generation of people out there that uh, think things that they can't even prove or even put any data behind, you know, so. Hey, start there, and then come see me. Join me for the live streams going live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Talking about this and a whole lot more. Hope to see you there. Eyes to the skies.